Hello everyone and welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's product reviews. So what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about the HPI Venture. The Venture is a scale crawler, uh, 1.9 variety. It is uh, also known as a trail truck, but most people refer to them as scale crawlers. Um, it is a pretty late entrance into a very crowded marketplace. You have uh, you know, scale crawlers from Axial, from Traxxas, from Viterra, and all those uh, trucks are pretty nice. I mean, it's this isn't a market where you're lacking quality or uh, or choice. Or it's there's a lot of good choices out there, and HPI has decided to put their truck in the mix. So, without any further ado, what do you get in the box? So, the HPI is a true ready to run. You get the truck. You get a radio, you get a 7.2 volt nickel metal hybrid battery, you also get AA batteries with a controller, and a little box of parts, which includes some uh, extra uh, body mounts, some extra clips, I believe there's even some extra axle parts in there. It's nice that they throw that all that extra stuff in there. So, considering that this is a really crowded genre of trucks, let's talk briefly about what the Venture has in common with the, uh, the more popular trucks out there. Um, first of all, it's got a steel channel uh, steel ladder frame. Also, it's a 1.9 truck. The majority of the trucks out there are 1.9. Also, solid axles. It's got coil springs and oil shocks. Um, also, the truck has uh, got a brush motor. It's got an uh, off-the-axle steering setup. The truck, also has a, uh, the truck also has an adjustable wheelbase. Um, the wheelbase uh, selections on this truck, they pretty much mirror everything else that's out there. Uh, with the exception of this truck only having two options for the wheelbase. It's uh, a 290 for the short wheelbase and the 315 for the long wheelbase. Traxxas and Axial both run a 312 and 313. Uh, so 15 is only 2 millimeters away. Not a big difference, so we'll essentially say it's the same wheelbase. Uh, you're not going to notice two millimeters of wheelbase difference. So, um, I mean, and with the body off, it's not that different looking at a glance if you compare it to the other trucks out there. But um, this truck has some really neat, really unique features. Uh, let's talk about those right now. Uh, the truck has a front-mounted motor, which I believe it shares with the uh, Traxxas model. The TRX4 and this both have front-mounted motors. I believe the Axial... Runs, still runs kind of a mid, uh, a mid-mounted motor. Um, I know the motor location is different from the kit to the RTR, but I believe that they both kind of sit in the middle of the chassis. Um, also, this truck has a lot of neat aluminum parts, and that's pretty cool. I don't think anyone, unless you buy one of the uh, higher line axial kits, you don't really get aluminum parts with this truck. And this truck has aluminum diff covers, the shock mounts, and the Link mounts on the axle are aluminum, which is really cool. But my favorite thing about the truck is the transmission layout. It's got a really cool transmission layout. So the motor sits real far up front under the hood, and then behind it is a spur gear and reduction gear, which goes to a dog bone, which goes to an actual transfer case. And then that transfer case goes out to the axles, which go out to the wheels. And what's cool about that is, by mounting everything up there, HPI is able to keep a real shallow drive shaft angle. And what that means is that with the shallow drive shaft angle, you can keep everything kind of tucked up underneath and you can keep the drive shaft angles from going to extremes. The flatter the drive shaft angles, the more efficient, the smoother they run. You don't want anything to be real extreme. You don't want to drop the axle down real far and have the drive shaft coming down at a big angle because it's going to cause you problems. Uh, any kind of extreme angles are going to wear things out faster and you just want to avoid that. So the drive line setup in this truck is unique. And it's really cool the way that they did it, and it's really different. And I think that that'll, uh, I'm not sure how much better it's going to perform on the trail, but I mean, it's really cool. And it shows you that they were thinking outside the box when they were making this truck. Some other neat features uh, that HPI is very proud of with this truck, and they mentioned in, the, in their literature, is it's got a panhard rod bar in the front. That all helps locate the front axle and keep it uh, from moving around a lot. It also helps pr prevent bump steer. Uh, also, it's got a zero Ackerman steering setup, and it's got a real tight turning radius, which uh, if any of you have had an original SCX-10, you know that 
when you have the turns you've got to make on the trail or three-point turns, it gets kind of annoying. And all in all, this is a cool little truck. And another neat thing about it is it's they were smart enough to mimic the SCX-10 in enough ways to where I believe some of the SCX-10 parts will fit back and forth. So like bumpers and things like that look like they'll fit. Uh, and then you can have lights and winches and all kinds of cool stuff to it. So, you know, that's important because scale crawlers are... They're really about modification. I mean, if you can't customize your scale crawler and go crazy with it, then what's the point of having one? They're they're awesome. I mean, I, I, the more stuff you put on them, the the more fun it gets. So, kudos to HPI for not keeping everything on the truck uh, proprietary. I mean, it was smart of them to allow us to use existing parts on those trucks so the aftermarket can catch up to it quicker. So, in closing, we are. RC Street Shop! But you knew that already, didn't you? I hope. We are in Long Beach. Our address is 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California, 90808. If you want to give us a call and ask a question, please do. Our phone number is 562-425-9000. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please press the like and subscribe buttons on the screen. The more you like it, the more likes we get, the more subscribes we get, the better our videos will get, and the more support we're going to get from everyone out there. So, I, I urge you to subscribe and like the video. Until next time, see you later.